Hi, this video will show you how to set up your iMin D4 POS terminal for your SiteGiant POS. Once you got the device out from the box, you will need to connect the power cable to the port. Long press the red power button to switch on the device. When you start the device for the first time, you will see this screen, scroll left and you will see hello in different languages. You will then reach a screen where you are required to choose a language. Scroll up and look for English, then select English Malaysia. After this, the device will ask you to connect to a network. If you are using a cable, connect the network cable to the network port at the back of the device. And if you are using Wi-Fi, change to the Wi-Fi tab and connect to your Wi-Fi network. Once the network is connected, click Next. You will reach the finish screen and then direct it to the home screen of the iMin device. Now, we are going to install the SiteGiant POS app into the device. However, the iMin device do not have Google Play Store by default. So now, we are going to install the Google Play Store first. Go into the App Store on the screen. You should be able to find Google Play Store at the recommended section. Or you can also type Google Play Store into the search bar to download the app. Proceed to download the app. And once it is done, you will be able to see the Play Store app at the home screen. Tap on the Play Store and sign in to your Google account. Once you are signed in, you will then be able to download the SiteGiant POS app from the Play Store. Search for SiteGiant POS and install the app. Once the SiteGiant POS is installed, launch the app and enter your SiteGiant POS login credentials to sign in. If you have more than one SiteGiant POS channel, you may select the correct store to log in from here. Once done, tap select. If you have only one SiteGiant POS channel, you will be directed to the SiteGiant POS main screen. Before we proceed any further, let us set up the printer first. The iMin D4 comes with a built-in printer and we need to put the receipt paper roll into the paper drawer. To open the receipt drawer, carefully pull the red handle at the right side of the device until it clicks. Place the receipt paper with the roll side up Pull the receipt paper out and close the printer drawer. Ensure that a small section of the receipt paper is outside upon closing the printer drawer. Now, we are going to check if the printer is able to print properly. To do so, go back to the home screen of the iMin device, go into Tools, Diagnosis, Printer, and tap on Print Test Page. If the self-test page cannot be printed out, you will need to readjust the paper roll in the printer. You may refer back to the steps earlier. And if the self-test page can be printed without issues, let's go back into the SiteGiant POS app, tap on the username on the top right, and go into Bluetooth printer. Tap scan for nearby printers. You should be able to find the iMin built-in Bluetooth printer in the available devices list. Tap the pair button. Once it is connected, the printer name will show under pad device. Ensure the paper size is correct. For iMin D4, the paper size is 80mm. Tap on test print again to check whether the receipt can be printed out from the SiteGiant POS app. If your test print is successful, then you are now ready to take order with SiteGiant POS. As this is a receipt printer with Bluetooth connectivity, kindly be reminded to connect the Bluetooth printer every time you start the system. If you are thinking of connecting a cash drawer to the iMin device, yes, you are able to do so. Connect the cash drawer cable to the device. The cash drawer port is just beside the power cable at the back of the device. From the home page of the iMin device, go into Tools, Diagnosis, Cash Box. Click on the Settings button on the bottom right, then change the settings to Cash Drawer after printing. By changing these settings, the cash drawer will open upon the printing of receipt. Inside Gen POS, there is a button to open the cash drawer without the printing of receipt as well. If your package includes the dual screen functionality, you will be able to see dual display settings upon tapping on the username. Style 1 allows you to display either a video or slideshow. Style 2 allows you to display both video and slideshow. Style 3 will show the latest scan product. This is also the default setting for all dual screen devices. To upload the media, we need to have the files transferred into the iMin device via thumb drive. With the media files transferred into the thumb drive, insert it into the USB port above the power button, return to the site giant POS, select the style that you prefer, then tap on the green upload button. You will be directed to this screen. 
Tap on the menu button on the top left, then select and open the thumb drive. Tap on the image and it will be added into the selected image list. Repeat this step to upload other media files as well. Once that is done, tap on apply on the top right. You will see a small bar appearing on the bottom of the screen informing that the settings have been saved. Tap on the back button to return to the site giant POS main screen. When you have a look at the secondary display now, the slideshow and video will be showing for the customers to see while they are checking out. Well done! And now you can proceed to use Site Giant POS for your offline orders. Hope this video is able to help you to set up your iMean device smoothly. Thank you for watching the video.